Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So I wanted to come on here once again, honey, and give y'all an update on the whole Kanye West, Amber Rose, and Wiz Khalifa situation. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready. Why? Because this tea is what? Piping hot. How you doing? So anyway, so what's going down is that after two days of silence from Kanye West, he decided to go to Twitter and let everybody know that Amber Rose was lying and that he would never, ever, ever allow somebody to play in his booty hole. <laughs> So once he sent out this tweet, y'all know Twitter ain't got no chill, honey. When I tell you, I literally logged on to Twitter this morning. The number one worldwide trending topic was Kanye's anal playlist. <laughs> when I tell you, social media was dragging the hell out of Kanye West. This whole situation is a hot damn mess. I want you guys to go ahead and check out Kanye's tweets, what social media had to say about his tweet, and then also check out some of these funny tweets from Kanye's anal playlist. Check this out, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. <laughs> Tell me last thing you stuck your finger in. Yeezy. Alright, so you guys just saw what Kanye had to say. You guys just saw all the crazy tweets and everything else. Well, now, as we all know, Mr. Wiz Khalifa is in Argentina, and he's performing for his Taylor Gang fans, you know, who support him over there in Argentina. And the Argentinian paparazzi, they caught themselves trying to bum rush Wiz Khalifa and ask him about the Kanye situation. And Wiz, you know, he refused to address it. But honey, let me tell y'all, when he went to his concert and he got ready to perform, he let Kanye West have it. He was like, fuck Kanye West. Go ahead and check out this video, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Hey, Wiz. Nice time. Really quick. Yes, let's go. Let me talk. Wiz. 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 Okay. Yo, Wiz, why do you think Kanye's taking things so far, man? Wiz, 
You guys just saw what Wiz Khalifa had to say. And I don't blame Wiz Khalifa one bit. Like I said from day one, you don't mess with nobody's child. You don't drag nobody's child into no adult beef, okay? Now, as of today, Amber Rose is also speaking out, honey. So I got some extra tea. So you guys make sure you guys are ready. Get ready to sip. So Amber Rose did an interview with this podcast called Allegedly. And it's by Theo Vaughn and Matthew Weiss. And basically, they took some time out in their segment to talk to Amber Rose about the whole Kanye situation. And Amber Rose broke it down. And I just, I really, really loved it. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this podcast. Check this out. And I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. There was a lot going on, controversial. And um, I just want to know how, uh, how, what's going through your head right now? Nothing. <laughs> is it just like another day sort of thing it's or? just another day i mean like when you're famous you kind of just deal with bullshit constantly so like it really is just another day yeah but this was someone attacking you um, well attacking you too well they kind of people attack me every day time, yeah. <laughs> especially on social media it's not really like um nothing new yeah it's not really nothing new um it's just corny like it's just corny yeah yeah do you find there's a reason why people can't seem to like keep your name out of their mouth for some reason i mean i'm popping yeah happens. <laughs> 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 you know people get really mad it you know especially like i grew up poor in philly i was a stripper you know people don't want to see me win they don't want to see me happy they don't want to see me, you know, or or even praise me, which I don't need. But, you know, the fact that I'm a really good mom, I'm a businesswoman, I came really far. Right. So, um, you know, people, it, it makes people mad. And that's cool. I like it. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Is that something that kind of gets you off, like driving people like you, like. Well, it just makes you stronger. It makes right. you just work harder. You know, but when someone like Kanye attacks you as a mother and talks about you know children, that's mm -hmm. got to hit a personal bone a little bit. Um. Well, the the thing of it is, is like I would never talk about kids in yeah. like an argument. It just shows how uh, the type of person he is. Yeah. You know, regard and even him saying stuff about my son. I still didn't say anything about his kids. I'm not going to. This yeah. is ridiculous. They're innocent babies. You don't ever, ever talk about a baby. Ever. Yeah. You know? So that just shows how fucking ridiculous he is. And by the way, if you look online, you have, there's articles about you have the best response that's ever been tweeted to well, anything like that. Well, I mean, like listen, I grew up in Philly. And so like, you know, quick. I just, it was always, like, that's what we used to do in school. You're right. All day is clown on each other. So like, and, and then another thing is, my life is an open book. Not a lot of people can say that. So you, what can you say about me that I haven't already said about myself? Right. Hmm. You embrace everything. There's nothing you can say. I'm right. a stripper. Um, I dated Kanye. I dated Wiz. I have a baby by him. Um, I'm a whore, which I have a slut movement. Like, what can you say? Right. There's nothing you can say about me. You embrace everything. You embrace I, every party. I, so that man, leaves, listen, leaves very little room. Little room to say shit to me. Can't say shit to me. Are you surprised that Kanye would say stuff like that? Because, uh, I mean, were you, were you surprised? Uh, no, because I know him. <laughs> I know he's a fucking clown. <laughs> I know him. Is it the same guy now as uh, when you guys dated, do you think? I mean, I, I don't know that. I, I, I can only assume. But, uh, you know, the, the, the crazy thing is that he came out with a song, I think, like last week. Yeah, I saying saw that. Saying that I <clears throat> had my son for a meal ticket. And I didn't even say anything. I was just like, man. Let it go. He's a cornball. I'm not saying shit. Yeah. Then he gets on the internet today and he's like, a uh, stripper trapped you with and da, da da But like, you took me around the world. We dated for like two years. Like, but you're talking shit about Wiz right. and my baby. Right. And my, my baby was made from love. Yeah. If anybody knows me and Wiz's relationship, 
especially at that time, we made our baby from love. So you're a fucking hater. Yeah. And why do you feel like he has that? Do you feel like, I mean, what does that come from? Because it seems weird to still carry that hate. I mean, he still talks about me in songs. He still talks about me all day. <laughs> well, I, just, I mean, I'm kind of a catch. I'm I kind of like a like, fun I, chick. I'm fun. You know, I'm positive. I don't really, you know, I don't like, like, I have a really good heart. And I hate to sound corny, but like, I don't like arguing with people. I don't like to have to do shit like that. Right. I don't like it. Like yeah. it doesn't sit well with me to have to really be like, yo, sit down. Yeah. Well, right. I've just met you and I just I want to hang out with you more and I'm gonna talk about you forever. <laughs> and the songs that I sing are gonna be about you. But I do wanna ask, last thing on this that I wanna ask mm -hmm. is your your comeback, mm -hmm. which with the fingers doing the walking sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Where does that come from and was that I mean, just a just, shade or was that something based in i listen, don't know don't talk about my kid yeah that's all i gotta say just don't talk about my baby you know he, it, i wouldn't have said anything if it was just between him and wiz that's two grown men hashing it out that's their business i would have kept it cute and just minded my business right but you don't bring in my baby. No. That's so corny. And that's the second time you did it this week. Right. The yeah. second time. Like, what do you have? Like, like are you jealous? Against... What is, what's up? Like, Who knows, bro? Who yeah. knows? You guys just heard Amber Rose's podcast. And if you guys want to listen to the entire podcast, the link will be down below in the description box. But I really enjoyed the entire interview. It was well put together. And you got to learn a bit more about Amber Rose. And, you know, I, I can't knock her. You know, a lot of folks are saying, you know what, she shouldn't have said anything. Their sex life is between them and that she's foul. No, the only person who was following this was Kanye West, okay? I don't care what two grown men do, like Amber Rose said. But once you start dragging babies into this, that's not okay. And not the whole slut walk movement. And I've always said that. I don't agree with women labeling ourselves as sluts and whores and everything else. We should be demanding respect for men as opposed to saying, you know what, so what? I'm a slut, I'm a slut. Nah, I don't agree with that. But as far as everything else with Amber Rose, I have no issues with her. And one thing I can say, she is a good mother. She really works with her son. Her son is not only adorable, but the little boy is articulate. You know, she's always posting little videos of him on Instagram and he's always saying all these big words. He has a very extensive vocabulary. Like she really works with him. He's not like some, you know, little ditzy three-year-old. Like he's a really, really smart kid. And I don't blame her for getting upset. What color is the jellyfish at the aquarium? The goat jellies. Yeah, what color are the ghost jellies? The translucent. They are translucent. Good job, She's a really, really good. smart kid, and I don't blame her for getting upset. You know, that's that's her baby. You know what I'm saying? I'm a mother myself, and I don't play when people, you know, talk mess about my kids. You come for my kids. I ain't got shit to say to you. You know what I mean? Talk about me all day, but leave my kids out of this. You know, at the end of the day, they're children. Children be children. You don't drag kids into that. Amber Rose could have been messy and said that, you know, Northwest could have been Reggie Bush's child, or, you know, Northwest could have been, you know, a number of people's children, but she didn't do that. She, she didn't bring up his kids' names, so Kanye had no business doing that. Now, another thing about Kanye West, you know, his little rebuttal, to me, it's a day late and a dollar short, okay? Like we say in the South, a hit dog will holla. If it don't apply, then you need to what? Let it fly. So obviously, finger in the booty gate is obviously bothering Kanye because if it wasn't, he wouldn't even spoke about it. But once again, he tried to clear his name and all it did was backfire in his face. You know, and I just don't feel bad for Kanye. Why I like him as a musician, why I think he's a very interesting person. I just feel like he went way, way, way above and beyond with that whole rant against, you know, Wiz Khalifa. And I feel like he might be doing with some bipolar issues because that whole Twitter rant made no sense. He went from being angry to, you know, praising God to blaming the devil. You know, Kanye West is a hot ass mess. I'm gonna need him to get it together. You know, everything is just a mess, but I just think Kanye was all the way wrong. And I don't blame Amber Rose and Wiz Khalifa for basically saying, you know what, fuck Kanye. We don't owe him shit. It's about our child at the end of the day.
So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation, honey. Once again, concerning Amber Rose, Wiz Khalifa, and Kanye West. Go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.